When Eve told us, you know what, billion rising, we want, I want a billion women to rise. For the one in three women that be girl, and women and girls who would be raped, killed, or beaten in her lifetime, which accounts for over a billion people on the planet, we want a billion people to rise. And I remember thinking to myself, wait, did you say a billion with a B? Oh, snap. And over the past year, I have watched and listened to so many of you who have stopped me on the street, contacted me through social media, Twitter, Facebook, telling me about your struggles, your first times just wanting to be a part of this movement of movement, and saying, this is, I've never done anything like this before. I'm so excited to be a part of this. I'm talking to people I've never spoken to before. I'm pushing people and having conversations that I thought I would be ashamed to have before, but I'm stepping out of that because this is bigger yes. than me. Yes. And you have been doing that all of this time. So I already know those pledges are gonna work because you said it, so it will be. Just like when Eve said, a billion rising, so it will be. Now, Eve, right now, is in the city of joy. The city of joy is in Bukavu, in the Democratic Republic of Congo. It is a space designed for and created by the women who designed it, who were there getting the care that they need. Women who have been abused, raped, and re-raped, who said, I need a space to heal and to grow and to learn that I am no less Congolese because I'm a woman. And I have the right to vote, and that I can take power and turn my pain into power. And that is what they are doing, graduation class after graduation class. We are going to be talking more and more about, I know you have the ear of it, about the conflict minerals of understanding that all of the social, you know, all of the iPads and cell phones and things that you're watching from that you don't want to have blood on them. That it's not worth having something cool on a little girl or a grandmother or a mother's or a little boy or a man's body. It's not that deep. And I know that you know you have the power to demand it and make that change for those people who are helping themselves and don't need you to give them something like they can't do for themselves. They need you to be partners. Partners. So thank you for being partners with the people all around the world. And specifically right now, I just want to talk to you about these women that I met. These women in the Congo who have gone through physical violence to the point that would make you cry. Everything from infant children, under a year old, to grandmothers. I met a family of three Grandmother, mother, and daughter who had all been raped. And they were dancing at the City of Joy because they had a space for themselves to heal and get strong. I have never been more humbled in my life to go, first world problems, girl, you don't want to get up early because it's like, oh, it's, I'm tired, I don't really want to do this. No, this woman is carrying a tree, literally, on her head, She's so strong, and she is dancing because she has a space to create for herself to heal. I am so excited that we get to show you this video and share some of these women with you. There are people dancing and have been since, the, since people cracked past midnight in Manila, all across the Philippines. We've got everyone from the DRC in Congo, Sierra Leone, Serbia, Iran, pe places where it is dangerous for them to dance. You are doing this in public, no problem. It is dangerous for some people to dance and they still kind of very quietly pledge that they would do it anyway. Yes. These are the people you are dancing with and celebrating with and standing up for and standing up with. And I just want to say thank you and please take a look at this video that is going to show you some of the other women that have been celebrating this moment of recognition, awareness, and power with you. Please watch. Thank you.